Hi there Silverado owners. Today in our 2017 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install eTrailer's Class 4 trailer hitch receiver. And this is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. It is tucked up nicely behind the bumper. You will be able to see a bit of the cross beam hanging down. For the most part, it's covered. And while it is installed, you still will retain use of your bumper mount if you want to use that as well. This is a class four, two inch by two inch receiver. So it's gonna be great for all of your towing needs, whether you're wanting to get some work done and haul a utility trailer, or if you wanna take your boat with you for the weekend down to the lake. It uses a five eighths inch hitch pin and clip. One doesn't come included with the hitch, but we have plenty available here at eTrailer.com. It also features hoop style safety chain loops with a very large opening that should be able to accommodate just about every shape, size, and style of safety chain. It features a 1,000 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver. And that should be more than enough for your medium and even some of your larger trailers fully loaded up, as well as cargo carriers and bike racks also fully loaded up to the max. It also features a 10,000 pound gross towing capacity, which is how much that it can pull behind it. And again, that's gonna be more than enough for your medium and larger size trailers loaded up. So if you wanna get some work done, this is a great hitch to do so. It also is rated for use with a weight distribution system. And when using a weight distribution system, our gross towing capacity is going to increase to 12,000 pounds, and the tongue weight is also going to increase to 1,200 pounds. A weight distribution system will help take some of the weight that is going down here at the back of the vehicle and putting it back on the front axle, restoring lost braking and handling performance, and just overall providing a better towing experience. We've got plenty of weight distribution systems available here at eTrailer.com that you can browse around and find the best one for your situation. Now, as always, I recommend that you verify in your vehicle's owner's manual and ensure you don't exceed any of its towing capacities. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about three and a half inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 18 inches. This is important when determining if you need to drop, a rise, or a raise shank on any of your accessories. We'll begin our installation by lowering down our spare tire. You can find your tools inside the vehicle. If you need some assistance with that, there's more information in your owner's manual. Once we get it lowered down, we're just going to set the spare tire aside so it's out of our way. Underneath now, we'll need to take out bolts on each side of our frame where our bumper attaches to it. We'll use a 21 millimeter socket and we're going to be removing both of the bottom bolts where they go up into the frame. You don't have to worry about your bumper moving because it's still attached to the side of the frame there and we don't need to touch that hardware. For your rearmost bolt here, you may need to hold it with a wrench. We're going to remove the ones on the other side as well. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll lift our hitch into position, lining it up on the bottom of the frame and lighting up the rearmost holes with the holes where we just removed the factory hardware. And we're just going to reinstall our factory hardware right back into the frame. With our factory hardware installed, we can come to the holes towards the front of the vehicle and we'll have to place a flat washer between the hitch and the frame. So we, that's why we left the hardware loose from our factory hardware so we could slide that in. And then we'll take the spacers that come in our kit, slide the carriage bolt through it and then drop it down through the top of the frame, through our washer and then through the hitch. And then we'll secure it with a flange nut on the other side. We're going to do the same thing with the other hole here towards the front. Sometimes it may need to push up on the hitch towards the back to get everything to line up as you need to and then drop it down through as well. We'll then do the same thing over on the other side. We can now go back and tighten down our hardware. Our new hardware is going to use a 19 millimeter socket and our factory hardware is going to use a 21 millimeter socket and wrench. Sometimes you need to hold your carriage bolts down when tightening them down. And then we can go back and torque our hardware to the specifications found in our instructions.
And that completes our installation of eTrailer's Class 4 trailer hitch receiver on our 2017 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.